Okay, this has been an absolutely astonishing day. There are three big stories, and here are the three big stories. First, Mike Johnson is elected Speaker of the House. Now, I was looking at this, and I got it wrong in this video, but mercifully, almost nobody won to watch this particular video. This got very, very low views, where I was explaining who Mike Johnson is and what he's about, and that he got an F in a congressional scorecard on Ukraine, and that kind of thing. So um, I said it probably won't happen, but it happened. And then I corrected myself here in this next video uh, that I explained what happened. Uh, but this is absolutely huge. So you can look at this in one of two ways, because every Republican voted for him, every Democrat voted against him. You can say, oh, those Republicans, they're just terrible. Or you can say, you know, Hakeem Jeffries in voting against McCarthy three weeks ago, kind of did it to yourself. Because if you didn't urge all your members to vote f against this, then nothing, none of this would have happened. Now, I know Ukraine's not the only issue. They have other issues, and that's part of the package of what's going on. But it was an unforced error all the way around and never should have happened. And uh, pox on our own house. Okay, next thing. There's a poll. Americans overwhelmingly back aid to Israel and Ukraine, but split on the U.S. role in the world. And so this was a poll that just recently came out. The survey found double-digit support for aid to Israel and its battle against terrorist group Hamas. 58% to 35%. That's a pretty sizable margin. That's a crazy sizable margin. Support for sending more aid to Ukraine, 51-43. That's still pretty good. And then uh, support for aid to Taiwan is at 43 to 39. Now, the thing that you need to understand about this is it breaks two ways. It breaks with by political party where the Trump isolationist populist wing of the Republican Party breaks away from uh, robust support in the world, and it also breaks by age. So someone like me, I'm 50, both by age and by the part of my party that I'm in, I'm all for extra aid to Ukraine or Israel or what have you, right? I mean, this is who I am and how I am. But if you are 25 and a Republican, you might be on the other side for both reasons, because you'd be in that Trump populist kind of crowd. Okay, that's Issue number two. Issue number three, there was some good news today. The USA started training Ukrainian pilots on F-16s in Arizona. This was a small number. More will follow. Some pilots had to get uh, English lessons, and they were already doing that at Lackland Air Force Base. So there's going to be successive waves of, of pilots, and so some that already have some skills will be the first ones out, and then we'll see how long it takes to actually get the F-16s out there to Ukraine. That's all that I have for the three big issues for today. And wow, there are some doozies today with the Speaker of the House race. Go back and watch these if you haven't already watched these. Well, you can go back and watch this one. This one where I got it wrong, you can safely ignore because even though I described who Mike Johnson was, um, just, you know, nothing to see here. All right. <laughs> Thank you for your time, the likes, the shares, the subscribes. Thank you for caring about Ukraine. And I'll be back tomorrow and I hope you will be too.